We begin tonight in southeast Texas, where Tropical Storm Amelda has left thousands underwater, many of them dealing with this for the second time. Our morning anchor Chris Rogers spoke to people there to find out how they're moving forward. How do you cope when the pieces of your life have been washed away? It's your heart hurt a little to see some of the really valuable, important things that are ruined. The Geralds had only been in their new home for six months. And so we moved it, fixed it up really nice and had just gotten the last of the projects finished. They were out of town and they got a phone call from their son they'll never forget. About four o'clock in the morning and said, Dad, do you know what's going on down here? And we said, no. He said, it's another Harvey. The water took away most of what they have. But among the debris and the wreckage, they salvaged something more important than material items, memories. So we saved, what, 95%? Probably, Probably 95% of thousands of pictures we were able to save. So that's a miracle. Down the street at Mark Jackson's house, flooding is limiting the cleanup process. He's been here before. The water isn't as high as it was in Hurricane Harvey, but the damage is, is identical. With poor drainage and no solution, he says he's had enough. It's going to happen again, and there's there's really no use in, in rebuilding at this point until something changes. But amongst the gutted homes and the lives turned upside down are bright spots. Hundreds of them. That's a wonderful thing. Texans helping Texans. Crews volunteering to clean up and start over. It doesn't matter if it's four foot or four inches. Uh, you still have to rip everything out, and it's just sad seeing them have to, having to go through this a second time. Piece by piece, Texans working to rebuild their lives. In the meantime, holding on to those memories and each other. You know, we can still be happy and grateful for what we do have because, you know, family and community is more important. All right, thank you, Chris.